Okay, welcome to the first video on problem solving type questions. And I know I mentioned before that for problem solving, you can't really just learn a method and then employ that every time and then get the question right. But there actually is a question type that is an exception to that, and that is what I call these age ratio problems. In these types of questions, there's a set method you can learn, and if you learn that method, you will be able to get the question right no matter what, every time. Provided you don't make a mistake, of course. And these types of questions have shown up more than once in the IMAT, so I strongly recommend that you learn how to do them. Okay, this is what I mean by an age ratio question. You will get two individuals or two things at two certain points in time, and at each point in time, their ages will be expressed in a certain ratio. And through that ratio, you will be able to solve for their ages. Now, what's nice about these questions is that they're actually quite quick to solve, and they're also quite easy, as long as you know the method. So let's read the question. In 2010, Stephen was exactly five times as old as Olga. Given that Stephen was exactly three times as old as Olga in 2015, what is the difference in years between their ages at any given time? Okay, remember this is IMAT problem solving. We don't want to write too much and we want to write as quickly as possible. Okay, so the way I would approach this is by writing the younger person first, and we'll just designate her as O for Olga, and we don't know her age, so we'll just put X. And then we have Stephen, we'll designate him as S, and his age is 5x. That is, it's five times as much as Olga's. Okay, and remember, this was the age ratio in 2010, and I'll just write time zero here, or zero to designate time zero. And then five years later, what happened? Well, five years later, how old is Olga going to be? Well, she's just going to be her age at time zero plus five, so x plus five. And what was the age ratio then? Well, in 2015, we know that Stephen is exactly three times the age of Olga. That is, he's going to be 3x plus 5. Okay, where do we go from here? Well, it would be nice if we could get an algebraic relationship. And we actually can if we look at this bit here. That is the age of Stephen in 2015. If we can get two different ways of expressing this value and then equating them to each other, we can work out the value of x, that is the age of Olga in 2010. So let's do that. Well, first of all, we have this way of expressing Stephen's age in 2015, that is 3x plus 5. How else could we express that? Well, remember, in 2010, his age was 5x. So in 2015, it's got to also be 5x plus 5. Now, from here, it's just basic algebra, and since you're at a high school level, I'm going to assume you know how to do basic algebra, so I'm not going to explain this in much detail. From here, you can just solve it algebraically, and you will get that minus 2x is equal to minus 10, and x is therefore equal to 5. Now, remember what x actually means. x is the age of Olga in 2010. And what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find the difference in years between their ages. So that's quite easy. We just need to work out the age of Stephen in 2010 as well. So his age is just 5x. So Stephen's age is going to be 25. So we know that the age difference must be 25 minus 5, which is equal to 20. And that is answer D. And what's nice about this question as well is you can double check that you've got the right answer. For instance, we know that x is 5, so if we plug that in in 2015, we would get that Olga is 10 years old. Okay, and according to this, then Stephen should be 30. So we'll plug in x here, so that becomes 3 times 10, which becomes 30. Yep, we definitely know we got the right answer. And you'll notice I just quickly double-checked in my head. I didn't write anything extra down because this is the IMAT. You don't have much time. You want to move on to the next question. So just quickly double-check in your head. If it works out, then yep, you know you've got the right answer. Okay, so we'll try another one here because they can actually ask different variants of this question. So you should always remember what it is you're solving for. Don't just work out x and then put down the value for x. No, read the question and make sure you know what they are asking for. Okay, let's do this one. In 2005, Vincent was exactly three times as old as Robert. If Vincent is twice as old as Robert in 2011, then what is the combined value of their ages in 2011? So now that you know how to do these questions, I recommend pausing the video and attempting it yourself. And I'll assume you've done that now, so I'll start working on it. So again, we'll want to put the younger person to the left, that is R for Robert, and then V for Vincent. 
And we'll let 2005 be times zero. So we'll put a zero here. And how old was Robert? Well, we don't know. We'll just designate that as X. And we know that Vincent was three times as old. So three X at time zero. Okay, so our next time point is 2011. That is six years in the future. So we'll put a six here. And what was the age then? Well, Robert is just gonna be six years older. So X plus six. And how old is Vincent now? Well, he's actually two times as old as Robert's current age. So two X plus six. Okay, and now remember from here, we wanna get a nice algebraic expression. And we can do that by equating this the age of Vincent, 2x plus 6, with his age, 6 years ago, plus 6. So we'll do that here. 2x plus 6 is equal to 3x plus 6, since these values are exactly the same thing. Okay, what does that give us? Well, now we just do basic algebra. 2x plus 12 is equal to 3x plus 6. That gives us minus x is equal to minus six, so x is equal to six. That is the age of Robert at time zero. Now, make sure you've read the question properly. Don't rush through this. I know that you're short on time in the IMAT, but if you rush in problem solving, you're gonna make mistakes. So some people, they get this answer instantly, they wanna move on to the next question, so they just circle A, because it corresponds to the right value. And the IMAT loves doing this. They will put in values that match certain values that you actually get while working through the problem to try trick you. So don't fall for that. Okay, so the question here is asking us for the combined value of the ages of the two people in 2011, okay? So what are the ages in 2011? Well, it's x plus six for Robert, and we worked out that x is six, so it's gonna be 12. And what is the age for Vincent? Well, x plus six, so that's gonna be six plus six, so 12 times two, that's gonna be 24 and that is equal to 36. So their combined ages in 2011 is 36, which is answer C. So yeah, as you've seen, these questions are actually super simple. If you just learn this method, you'll get them right and you'll do it in no time. So really, if you get this type of question in the IMAT, you should be jumping for joy because it's easy marks.